Hi, this is tutorial 7 case problem 1. In step 2, in cell B5, we have to enter the product ID 1015. And in cells C7, C8, and C9, we have to create lookup functions to display the type, model, and price respectively. So I'm going to click on the function and then go for the lookup. It's either up here most recently used or look up in reference and then it's the last one and for the lookup value it's going to be the cell which we want to use b5 and i'm going to do that in absolute reference and then we are going to look into the product price table And that's going to be the second column. For the model, it's going to be the same thing, but we're going to look into the third column. And for the price, we're going to look into the fourth column. So I could simply just copy these two and then modify the column. So here is three, and this one is four. In step 3, we have to modify the formula so that if an incorrect product ID is entered in cell B5, then cells C7, C8, and C9 will display product ID, ID not found. So, we have to enter a if error function. And then open the parentheses, and at the end of it, we do comma, and in quotes, we type what we want to show. So, is what they ask for. And I'm going to copy it to make it quicker like I did before and then just change the color. So now if I change the product ID to one that doesn't exist it will show product ID not found. In step 4, we have to enter labels for the shipping options. And they wanted to do it in uh, cells D440 through E42. So I'm going to start by typing the first one. Standard and express and overnight and the prices are nine ninety nine fifty actually fourteen fifty and eighteen fifty and I'm gonna format this with the currency, dollar sign, two decimal places. Okay, now in step five we have to um, insert a nested function in cell C17 for the shipping options. So we start with equal and it's going to be many if functions within the same fun function. And so it's going to refer to B15. So if B15 is equal to standard, then it's going to be cell B41. If B15 again is Press
thing it's going to be, so... E41, it was E40 before. If, again... If it's overnight... Then it's going to be E42. Or, yes. And one last if, because they want to make sure that if the shipping option um, sell is blank, then the shipping cost will stay blank. So, if B15 is blank, then blank. And to be safer, I add another blank. So what this means is that right here, if B15 is blank, then blank, nothing will show up. Else, also blank. So what that means is that if anything is typed in other than standard, express, or overnight, nothing will show in shipping cost. Okay, so I must have made a mistake somewhere. Yes, I skipped cell B15 right here. And that should fix it. And I'm also gonna put absolute reference to my prices for shipping. So now because I have not nothing in cell B15, also nothing shows in C17. And it works for all the other ones. So if I type in anything else other than these three, like anything random, it will also stay blank. Now, in the next step, they want us to create a formula for the total cost, and that would be the price times the quantity plus the shipping cost. So up here, start with enter. Then C9 times B12 plus C17. And for the quantity, they want 4. So the total would be $970.58. Now in step 7, they want us to modify the total cost formula. In case we get an error, they want us to display product ID, check product, product ID, quantity, or shipping options. So, click on the formula and then, like we did before, if error, open parentheses, and then at the end of this, they say comma and then in quotes, type whatever you want to display. Step 8, we have to go into the product, product list and use conditional formatting to highlight all duplicate values in the ID column with the formatting of my choice. So first I have to highlight what I'm going to conditionally format, and that's the IDs. And in Home, conditional format, highlight duplicate values, and then we can do custom format and I'm gonna choose the fill to be yellow and since there are no duplicates then nothing is highlighted in yellow but to check that 
day who wanted to change the cell A119 to change the AD to 1121. And now since these two are the same, they're highlighted in yellow. And now they are not anymore because they're not the same anymore. In step 9, we have to use conditional formatting again to highlight all the prices above 300. So select the range. And then again, in conditional formatting, highlight servers greater than 300. And I'm going to make these in green. So anything greater than 300 is showing up with dark green over light green background. In step 10, we have to go into the summary worksheet and do the average price and account for each type of modem. So click on the cell you want to use and in the formula you're going to go under statistics and we're going to use an average if so if the range the range would be the table which we're referring to which is product price and the column we're referring to is type then for criteria we want 50ck desktop and for the average range, it's going to be product type, but this time it's going to be price. So the average is 61. And again, I can copy it, and it's much quicker. For count, the same idea. I'm gonna go into count F. I know I have those under recently used. And the range is going to be the price, a uh, product price table and in the column type. In criteria again. A5. So that's how many 56k desktop modems there are there. And then copy the formula. There are 41 um, ISDN DSL and 33 modem cards. And this is the end of this tutorial.